What do you do for a large bonsai in winter? Winter is a great time for wiring out your trees, particularly for large like this one. It is a really great time to wire because you can very clearly see the branch. So it's now very clear where all the buds are and I can easily put a wire in between those buds. So wiring becomes a pleasure. If you do it when this tree is in full needles, full leaf, um, you have a hard time trying to avoid trapping needles. This tree I wired out last winter, but now you can see the tree doesn't look all that great anymore. What happened is that I fertilized it well, it was replanted in spring, it grew really, really fast. And as a result, already somewhere in early summer, I had to unwire the whole tree. As a result, now the branches have popped up, pop back up, time to rewire. Part of the pruning and cleaning up process, of course, is also removing moss from the trunk and treating it against algae for the rest of the season. I use just a commercial algae remover, which I've pre-prepared in a big bottle. And I just brush it on the lower trunk. This will kill the algae, it will kill the moss. The liquid I use is just commercially available in garden centers or hardware stores and is used to keep your pavement clean from algae. Make sure um, there's no warnings on it for using it near plants. Actually, typically it says it it's safe to use on pathways next to plants. Now if you look here and there, you can see why I had to unwire. Um, the wire has started to bite in at these spots. A clear indication that the branch was thickening up, but it wasn't solidified yet. I've added these guy wires tension wires on all the branches to at least try to get the angle of the trunk and the branches set. So I don't need to wire all with a very heavy wire. Um, I'm taking them off and let's see how much of a shape it still holds. It looks pretty good so far. Furthermore, you can see that the branches that have grown are all quite thick. What I'm after is thin branches, very thin, maybe like these here but that does require for the tree to grow a little bit slower than what it has done last year. So the coming year, I'm not going to fertilize it in spring and I'm just going to let it grow for the season and hopefully that way I will have less trouble with wire biting in. What you see here is a branch that I clipped in summer because it was growing way too fast and getting way too thick. And as a result, it has popped a bud here and this has grown. So this is now a lot thinner than this branch. And now by clipping it off, I can create a taper. I will lose a little bit of ramification, so I could go a little bit further and use a bud that's here. But for now, I am building taper and structure and ramification will come after. Now it's quite normal for trees that are flexible and veer back in spring, um, but are fast growing, that they need to be wired two or three times before the branch is set. I'm sorry. No, there is no such thing as instant bonsai. Bonsai needs to be rewired, pruned and maintained. Typically creating good bonsai requires rewiring a couple of times and smaller adjustments over the years, many years in a row. Now my process is to then look at the branches and this branch is fairly long, right? So in the styling last year, I printed it back here. This is all grown over the season. And if you look at the profile of the tree, this is all very long. I'm going to look for suitable side branches to cut this back to. The length should be roughly around here at the end. So either this is going to be a new leader or this is going to be a new leader. Now, just from a longer term development perspective, if I use this as the extension, then this branch is moving forward towards the tree. So this I'm definitely going to get rid of. I have a clump of buds here and I've got a nice outward growing bud here. If I take it back to here, I have a nice branch. Then I can take this back to a few buds. This is now fairly long. I take it back to... And then in line with this one, this can also be pruned back. Now what you see here is there's a bud that's going to go a little bit downward. But there's two buds here, which can make a nice bifurcation, one going forward and one going to the side. So there's a bud here at the bottom as well. I'm not going to keep that. I'm just going to clip it off between these. 
And if we look up one level, what we see here is two young branches, a somewhat thicker branch, and there's more branches here. This is too thick with lots and lots of buds, and I could say I'm going to go back to this branch. But here on this long section, there's not a single bud. What I can also say is I'm going to prune back for taper. These have an optimal length almost for the whole tree. I'm just going to prune it back all the way to the starting point here. Now I've got taper. I've got a bifurbification and these young branches I can quite easily wire in here. This I'm going to leave for the time being. And here the same thing, right? You have a thin branch and a thin branch and a longer, thicker branch with few buds. So I can remove the one with the few buds, making sure I don't clip off the other branches. Just like that. This I can reduce a little bit. And then this can be wired out. Now this branch is very, very hard already. Um, and I think I'm just going to position it just using a tension wire and maybe two pieces of three millimeter aluminium wire. The three mil aluminium I can also use to wire here these. So I'm having one going up and down and a second going up and down, doubling on this one and being just right for these top ones. Anchored on one side, look at the length, a little bit longer than the branch. Hold it, wire it, squeeze it in between. Here in the elbow, there's a couple of buds, but because there's already a three-way intersection here, I'm just going to clip all these buds off. Now the second wire is of course going to go on this branch and on the lower branch. So I'm going to go over the upper branch, keep it there in place. And then wire down and anchor it on the main branch. And now I have to make sure that this wire lands nice and parallel here to the original wire on the branch. Now I can wire this one out as well. Can just move it in between again, up, making sure to pass the buds that you want to keep. In this development stage, I want to keep as many buds as possible because you never know where you're going to prune back to. And this is a little bit awkward. I could have tried to squeeze it along here, but then I wouldn't have any space to wire this branch out. So I'm going to go underneath and make a little bit of a longer loop instead. Now I'm going to allow for one loop around the branch at this bifurbification, so that when I wire this one out and that one out, there's a nice tight connection between the main branch and the bifurbification. Now, as a lot of these side branches are quite stiff, I'm using two millimeters of aluminium here on these branches, which is, well, a little over half the thickness of this branch. So now with all the branchlets wired, I can start to slowly put everything in a fashion of droopiness. So I like large branches to be quite droopy. So they come down directly from the main attachments and hang down a little bit. To me, this is what large feels like. Then individual branches that are somewhat longer, I make sure that they have a bit of movement and I try to keep the tips bent upwards. I am layering all these branches out spreading them so that from the front you have the feeling that there's a very high level of ramification and quite a dense pad is forming. Each branch of course needs its own light. So I'm trying to not block the light coming into the pads too much. Well with that done I only have to wire the rest of the branches out. So Let's get the rest of the tree wired as well. Here, there's a very thick branch. I think I'm going to reduce it to these two, or maybe this one and these two, because this is really getting too heavy for the top branches. 
there's a bit of dead wood that I need to clean up. I'm not going to clean up this. Um, it still looks good. I'll put a little bit of anti-algae on there and I'll put new lime sulfur on it in spring. reducing excess buds. Now keep an eye out for these little scars that are here in place because of the wiring last time. Um, if you look at the direction of the scars, the wire was on like this last year. So when I'm wiring this time, I need to make sure I wire in the opposite direction and therefore reduce the scars. All done, ready for another season in the sun. As said, I'm not gonna fertilize all this much this season. I'm going to keep the top in check so it doesn't grow all that much. And besides that, it now just goes back into the garden. Wait for spring. This was Jelle, growing bonsai. See you next time.